Spotlight, presented by Community Health Network. Welcome back now. Strokes are the leading cause of death for Americans. It is caused by a clot, and someone will suffer from a stroke every 40 seconds. A drug known as TPA became a lifesaver. Now the same doctors who were among the first in the world to use that are now testing another drug to help people who suffer from a more specific type of stroke. News 8's Brittany Noble tonight has details in this health spotlight. When a person is having a stroke every minute, every second counts. It's a race against the clock to save brain cells and save lives. Neurologist Joseph Brondrick has been running that race for almost 40 years. I arrived at University of Cincinnati in 1987 and we treated the first patient with TPA in the world in 1987. TPA has been very successful at stopping damage in ischemic strokes and now Dr. Brondrick is working on a way to stop brain bleeds after a stroke. There's a good number of them that are going to continue to grow so if we can stop the growth in its tracks we can have an opportunity to improve outcome. Broderick is leading a global study on a drug that has been used for decades to help hemophiliacs blood to clot. Recombinant factor 7A helps stop bleeding in the brain. We looked at people who were within the very early time windows, within the first couple hours after onset, that's when the drug seemed to have its greatest benefit. One way they are getting to patients faster, this mobile stroke unit, where brain images can be taken on the spot and the drug given en route to the hospital. We wanted to make sure we could treat people within two hours. I'm Brittany Noble for WishTV, wishtv.com, or follow us on Facebook for updates.